Hello everyone. My name is Annie Dunnigan. I am from a small town called Epping in the state of New Hampshire, which is just about uh, half an hour south of Kittery, Maine. I am a recent graduate of the United States Naval Academy. While at the academy, I majored in aerospace engineering, which is all about planes, rockets, and satellites and how they work. Uh, I chose to come to the Naval Academy because I was so impressed by the engineering program and I wanted to be part of something bigger than myself. I was also interested in having a uh, non-standard college experience and having access to opportunities that aren't available anywhere else. So for example, many schools don't even offer aerospace engineering, yet through the Naval Academy I was able to build my very own 10 foot tall rocket and launch it during my senior year. In today's demo, we will look at one of the main principles of aerospace engineering, which is called Bernoulli's principle. This principle explains why and how things like airplanes can fly. Bernoulli's principle, in its simplest terms, says that high velocity leads to low pressure. In other words, the faster the air is moving, the lower its pressure. There are a few ways that we can demonstrate this visually. These exercises will use common household goods, so you can try them for yourself at home if you'd like. In this first exercise, all you will need is a strip of paper, roughly three inches wide and eight and a half inches long. Take one end of the strip and hold it up to your lips, then blow steadily over the top. What you'll notice is that the paper will move upwards towards the fast moving air. This is because of Bernoulli's principle. The high velocity of the air that you blow over the top of the paper leads to low pressure. Since the pressure on the top of the paper is low, and the pressure of the non-moving static air underneath is high, the high pressure pushes the paper upwards towards the low pressure. Objects will always tend to move in the direction of the lower pressure air. Another exercise we can do to demonstrate Bernoulli's principle involves a hair dryer and a ping pong ball. In this case, I'll be using a styrofoam ball. Set the hair dryer to its coolest setting and position the ball carefully over it so that the air flows evenly around the ball on each side. When you let go of it, the ball should float in the air. This is because the forces on the ball are balanced. Gravity is pulling the ball down while the air is pushing it up. Now what you can do is actually tilt your hair dryer at an angle. And what you'll notice is that even when the hair dryer isn't directly below it, the ping pong ball stays in the stream of air. Why does this happen? Well, according to Bernoulli's principle, the fast moving air right around the sides of the ball is at a lower pressure than the static air outside the stream. If the ball were to try to leave the stream of air, the stationary higher pressure air would push it back in. Though these are simple examples, they demonstrate how Bernoulli's principle works. Airplanes and rockets use the same principle to fly through the air. For example, an airplane wing is shaped such that the air that moves over the top of the wing moves faster than the air underneath the wing. This leads to lower pressure above the wing and higher pressure beneath the wing and therefore, just like the strip of paper, the plane is pushed upwards. This is called lift. Lift is one of the four forces of flight to include gravity, lift, thrust, and drag. Gravity pulls a plane down, lift pushes it up, thrust pushes it forward, and drag pulls it back. Balancing these forces is what makes objects like airplanes and rockets fly. And all of this is what my major, aerospace engineering, focuses on. Today's demo touched upon Bernoulli's principle and how it relates to aerospace engineering. Aero is a popular major at the Naval Academy, especially for those aspiring to become Navy pilots or Naval flight officers. However, it is just one of the 25 majors that USNA offers from sciences to engineering to humanities. All students take a variety of core classes as well, so even if you major in English, you can still expect to take classes in math and science. It's a great program and I'm so glad that I chose it. 
Anyway, I hope you learned a little today about Bernoulli's principle and about aerospace engineering. Thank you.